Weather conditions have a huge effect on scent. This day is very cold with frost in the ground and no wind. Two-year-old Oxo is holding a staunch point and with her head held high, I ask her to work on. As she moves forward, she almost immediately drops her nose, tracking ground scent, suggesting they're near, and then she hears them. She points again and I flush her. Push it up. Push it up. So there was the slightest hesitation where she bounces, but then a good strong flush to birds that were actually quite close and a nice obedient sit at the end. Now this is a completely different day. A very strong wind, much warmer, it's about 9 or 10 degrees. The dog is running well, she's running strongly. I'm allowing her to make wide casts so she covers plenty of ground and the strong wind will be bringing scent to her from well ahead. Now she pulls well ahead here without slowing and indicating scent, which I'm unhappy about, so I recall her and I'll push her left to resume her cast. Now she gets a little bit bogged down in ground scent here, so I have to work hard at pushing her left to get her out. Get on. The problem is a very strong wind kind of dilutes the scent, so it can be very difficult conditions for a dog. But covering that ground on the left was well worth it because on this cast she finds her bird. So that was a lovely point, absolutely staunch from speed. And I move up to flush her, but I don't come in immediately from behind. Never do that with a young dog. Come in at a slight angle so that they've got you in their peripheral vision. As she takes a couple of steps here. She's following her birds because I can see them moving up on the rise. But I'm confident she's got her birds and I see their heads go up, so I flush her. Another strong flush, a bit further than I'd have liked, but the grouse were jumpy in the high winds and we would have lost them. But it was a good opportunity to test her obedience on the sit at a distance, something that it's always worth testing from time to time. And of course, you don't need reminding, but give your dog plenty of praise when they've worked well for you. And when that job's done, ask your dog to work out the area. They check the area where the birds got up in case there's one left behind. Good girl. And it's an important reward too for a dog to allow it to draw in the scent, particularly for a young dog that's learning its quarry. So now she's checked out the ground. Oi. She gets a slight reprimand and another recall whistle for not coming straight away. Good girl. And she'll get further praise before she's cast out again on a fresh hunt.